Anything meant for me will come to me and anything meant for you will come to you. Anything not received can never be missed and anything that comes in confusion is not resolution. Anything deemed mine will be placed before me and anything iffy will come waywardly. Anything that has permanency will have good foundation and anything temporary can easily be removed. The things meant for you will come in the time allowed based on the conditions that support how everything comes together. Happy birthday, Santa! How does it feel to be 16 years I feel, old? I feel, I feel old. That's what I feel. You feel old. I almost started to cry because it made me realize my son is two years away from being 18. Cry? Nah, nah, I'm good. Hey, babe, it's like almost 12 o'clock, and I'm just not leaving up at the house. So let's go ahead and leave. I'm gonna see y'all in the car. Bye. Remember, you have the paper. Hey, baby, love. I am at the store, y'all. I'm feeling that feeling again. Like, I'm just annoyed Online course with just offered. people. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I don't know if it's every time I come outside. Or like, I don't know if I'm feeling the pressure of it being my son's birthday and me getting like stuff together and just like here this is the thing like i already don't have hold on let me get it together it gets frustrating when you don't have people to basically root you on one two stand by your side and do it and don't get me wrong i am a grown ass woman it's just i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't be up here I wouldn't be for real if I didn't tell y'all sometimes. I just get frustrated doing every fucking thing on my own. Yeah, like, it's like as soon as I walk outside, it was just like, mm -mm. first of all, I don't know what it is. Today, today is Saturday. Why everybody at the store? Why is the store literally packed? I'm talking about all these. I'm talking about motherfucking uh, Wally War, girl, even Target. Even Target was just like, no. It's gonna be a hustle and a hassle trying to go grocery shopping up in these stores. I'm blue. <laughs> I don't wanna be outside, I ain't gonna hold you. He want bacon and his favorite is um, French toast, girl. French toast, bacon, and eggs. I could have made his favorite wings like we always do. Yeah, girl. They don't have turkey bacon in the store. So that's a dud. The way you smile. Girl, yeah, I'm back in the car. Girl, I just feel like this. <laughs> First of all, I don't COVID get everybody being these house people. When I tell y'all, it is so packed outside. Baby girl, it's so packed outside. I'm talking about, first of all, and y'all know how I feel about Walmart. I'd rather do my online pickup at Walmart. I'm like, okay, Walmart pack. Let's go to Target. Baby girl. When I say Target packed out the ass. I'm talking about. Let me take my glasses off. Let me take my glasses off. Uh, I got a couple of rents. Walmart so packed. Target so packed. Girl went to Aldi's. Do y'all remember when we couldn't get people to go to Aldi's? Y'all remember that? Baby boy you might as well slow your road. We could, back in the day when I was little, like 10, 11, we couldn't get people to shop at Aldi's because everybody just thought Aldi's was like the ghetto store or whatever. So it was never packed. Like, where I was from, Aldi's was never packed. Baby, when I tell you Aldi's so packed, and then it's like, as soon as you get outside, like, you be in a good mood. As soon as you get outside, here come that bullshit. <laughs> 
it's just like the general public today and I, I ain't gonna mix well with the general public not today I'm not mm -mm. it's people in general I don't care <laughs> it's people in general I'm not gonna mix well with the public today let me hurry up do what I need to do go in the house I'm like okay I'm feeling good I'm feeling great you know no it ain't gonna happen and then I'm trying to sneak in and eat one of these sugar-free ass cookies. They make it a mess all over my car. Y'all know we just went to the damn car wash. <sighs> Girl. And then I go, I just so happen, I like to go down my um, timelines on my social medias, right? Y'all, ever since I switched my TikTok profile over to a personal profile, and took down my TikTok shop and all of the things. They've been removing the music up off of my videos. Now I don't know what that's about. What that is that is about. But it's when I tell you, I'm talking about these profiles are so the brand can go down your page and see the type of work you do and all this and all of that. Baby, you gotta have some real, real good content. For a brand to stay engaged in a video that don't have no sound on it. And I refuse to take down my videos. And I know it's like, hey, you, like, you just, you so extra. Like, I refuse to take down my videos. I'm going to enjoy my day. I'm going to have a good day. And that's going to be that. I'm almost at home. Where I literally want to be. <laughs> Welcome back to a video welcome back to another video girl my name is adrian if you are new here and you can call me aj and if you are og hey girl hey um happy sunday um i am at the store grabbing some things for dinner actually um and i just wanted to start off the vlog y'all will not be going up in the store with me because y'all already know what it is it's walmart and it's hella packed so i'll nine times out of ten see y'all at the house all right bye hey everyone love i have made it back in the house um i have been, actually been in the house for some time I just put dinner on Sunday vibes. I need to go ahead and edit my vlog. I really need to. I think I'm gonna stay down here and edit my vlog because if I, I feel like if I go upstairs, baby, I feel like if I go up the stairs, it's gonna be over with. I'm gonna be in the bed somewhere. I'm not gonna get nothing done. So I think I wanna stay down here, edit my vlog. Um. I have to because I want it up at least by tomorrow morning. Um, I'm gonna put these little bit of clothes on. We don't have that many clothes to put on. Um, and then I want to finish um, mini twist of my hair for the week. Just so I won't have to do it. I'm gonna do my hair and then tonight before we go to bed, we're gonna do booby hair. Um, and then we should, uh, we should, we should. We pretty much prepared for the following week. All the clothes will be done. The house will be clean. Um, I can meal prep some of the food that I'm cooking. Some of the food that I'm cooking. My son over here playing a game. Like, what's the vibes in here? But I low-key really want to go in my room. I really do. Um, but I'm already knowing what it is. All the food is on right now. I'm just waiting on. Yeah, I'm gonna go in my room. I'm gonna go in my room. I just wanna go by rep. It's been, it's been a really good. I really enjoy my little vacation. Oh, uh, well. Have you had scooters? Huh? Have you had scooters? No. Well. Okay. Have who had scooters? Have you had scooters before? Oh, uh, a while ago. A while ago, the scooter's good. It's okay. My mom says scooters is okay. I mean, it's better than Starbucks. It's better than Starbucks. That laundry stuff, Brie, and then that hair stuff over there. Oh, yeah. Meet me at the vanity. I got so much stuff in my hand that I need to take upstairs. Meet me at the vanity pool. Bye. Girl. <laughs> 
Yeah, I see the location is different. <laughs> I got a little hotel room for the night. Just like a mini staycation, girl. When I say it's needed, baby girl, like when I say it's needed, it was needed. Just after the weekend I've had, I decided to do this like a staycation. It's, I'm, I'm nowhere out of town or whatever. I'm still very much so close. It's just alone by myself, girl. I'm trying to figure out where the heat for the switch at, baby. Here you go. Um, um, to really just like work and get a couple of the things done that I've been wanting. Uh -uh. I've been, let me see. I've been wanting to get done. I figured like I would need a staycation. Now this is just a very small room. It's nothing to even really show y'all. I'm about to check the bed real quick, of course. But it's nothing to even really show y'all. Like, um. I need to run to go to um, Walmart just to get some stuff. And it's, I'm only staying overnight, I'm just staying for the night. I'm not, this isn't a long stay at all. This is a okay hotel. It looks pretty clean. Um, for the night, it looks pretty clean, but girl, like, I just, <sighs> I had had an experience with someone that I thought was really like close to me and basically like on my side. Let me pull up a chair. That was like basically like close to me and someone that I thought was like pretty much when you this is this is the thing that i have to realize i sometimes put too much expectation on certain people that i know for a fact will let me down and it's not the fact hold on let me put some on my lips not the fact that they sometimes let me down it's just something in me always give them that space to where it's space to let me down because I sometimes believe in them too much. Um, and with that being said, there was an argument had, and it really ain't gonna lie, it really just kind of like hurt my feelings. I'm still just a little bit hurt about it, but sometimes you just have to come to that. Sometimes, how can I put it like, girl? Sometimes that reality sets set into where I feel like my light is too bright. Sometimes that reality set into where it's just like, you know, things with certain people will not get any better. That is the reality of it. And at this point, if you if you choose to move forward, we're putting so um, a certain amount of expectation within certain people. It's like you letting yourself down because you you know how this would end up in how this would turn out. It won't be a good turnout. And no matter how much like you just have faith in people and you just like no nah, this you know you, you look at a certain relationship or yeah certain relationships as this because this is your expectation of it when it's really so beneath that that because you and that person or whatever party cannot come to terms you will not be able to see be be able to agree with each other when it comes to certain things like i have to i have to come to that reality and i'm not even gonna lie like it hurt my feelings except it, it certain things that were said really hurt me and I just decided to like, you know, do my basic Sunday routine, but I just kind of like wanted to get away. So my dad, he is with the kids. Um, 
and I'm literally like five minutes away. <laughs> but still, girl. This is just a night away to like decompress from that because I'm not even gonna lie. Like, girl, a girl almost bust a tear, shed a tear. I, I actually did shed a tear. I just hurried it up and like covered it up. But like, even as I'm talking about it, it's still hurting my feelings. And I'm, I still feel myself getting a little emotional about it. But it's not because of what was said. I'm pretty tough when it comes to that. It's just who said it, you know? And. As much as I might seem tough, like, y'all, I'm a big-ass crybaby. Like, y'all know this. I'm a big-ass baby. <laughs> like, I really am. And so, it's just like, for me, when you, when you, for whatever reason it is, hold certain people to a certain standard, and they let you down because of the expectations you put on them, that that shit hurt i'm not even gonna lie like it it ultimately hurt and so i just i would i just wanted to take a step back tonight um i ain't gonna be doing nothing but here editing right now my planner i'm catching up on my um my bible plan i got me some little coffee and yeah I'm going to take a good shower. I'm low-key mad because I could have bought my tripod so we could do like a little shower routine. But it's fine. I could do a skincare routine. Prop y'all up on something. Somewhere. Somehow. Some way. We're going to figure it out. <sighs> but I just ultimately wanted to get this, this um, <clears throat> this, what you call done in a minute. My phone is going to go on do not disturb because, like, it be like, like I said, when you at home, don't nobody bother you. It's like, as soon as you leave your house, if an idea, mama got something to say, something to say. Like, but girl, that's where I'm at. You know how when... I want to talk about it, but I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to get emotional. Because, of, like, when you think of certain stuff that was said to you, it's just like, ugh. It, 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 it's, it's disheartening when when you come to term when you have no other choice but to come to terms with... <sighs> with, like... Uh. And it's crazy because I want to allow myself to feel the way I feel, work through the emotions, figure out why um, this certain person holds have this has this type of hold on me it's it's like i really didn't expect for him or that person to say certain things about our situation as far as just like certain shit like, oh, and, I, and i hate to give y'all a puzzle i really do to try and put together but it's just like when you hold co-parenting is hard we just gonna do that, like co-parenting is hard, especially when the other party show you that they're willing to only breadcrumb not only you but the children as well, and then tell you that they okay with doing that, like, and you have no other choice but to accept that, but to not accept that, <sighs> and it's just like girl so it's not that you know i wanted to get away from the kids it's not the kids at all because y'all know how me and man get down y'all know how he is i just didn't want to bring how i feel into our environment um and then not only that it's just like it literally feels i ain't gonna lie like y'all it literally feels like morning or death because you know you just know shit just got worse it will not get any better
between me and and just saying that out of my mouth it made me it just made me feel better but for someone to basically come to you in your face in your house where you pay all the bills at with no help and you you making shit happen by yourself to basically judge you i just need my space right now i really do y'all gonna get the vibes for me i'm about to put on some music i don't even want to leave the room at first i was going to go to walmart to get like some wine but i i mean i was just drinking wine at the house so i really don't need no more and it's literally only eight o'clock girl yeah i'm really feeling these little little twisties i put in my head i feel like a natural curly like whatever i just feel like it's so cute i feel so adorable but i'm just about to sit here with when i tell you this he feels so good i don't buy my little sleeping clothes girl i am literally just now finishing editing the vlog like girl it is 9 55 I don't know. Like, I just really took my time with editing it. I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I ain't even going to lie, okay? But I'm low-key. I ain't gonna lie. Think about going home. Because <laughs> I want to be around my children. But I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna get up in the shower with them. I just, I'm literally about to try and see how can I set y'all up. It's like a little edge right there. Girl, y'all finna get this mini shower routine. I ain't finna lie to you. I ain't finna lie to you, Pooh. And when I'm in hotels, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I like to keep all of my stuff close to the door. Because, like, I'm not trying to jinx nothing, but you just never know what could happen. Like, a bitch might have to get up out of here in a quick fast and I hurry. Like, you just never know. I just want my shit to be right here by the door. Because, like, the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> but. Y'all, I'm watching uh, Carrie. One of the twins. <clears throat> Hold on, let me get my life in. I just feel like the skin's skinny. But we're gonna get ready to get in the shower. You wanna kinda like zoom in? Cause y'all gonna see like all of me. Like. Get ready to get up in the shower. So. Let me see how I'm going to prop y'all up, like where I'm going to prop y'all up at. And I'm going to get up in this young shower, baby. We're going to take this out, poo, -poo. You know what's beautiful is that I'm at this place in my life where I speak over myself differently. I'm empowered by the things I've learned and by the places that I've been that gives me a better appreciation of who I am and what the future holds for me. I'm at a place in my life where I don't care about trivial things. I'm not interested in sideways conversations, empty dialogues, and people who show up when it's only convenient for them and people who are just not good for me, period. At this place in my life, I want things differently, but I also take the initiative to do the things that I want differently. My actions will coincide with me to deliver the expectations that I have set for myself. And at my big old age, I'm accountable for me. Not what others think or how others feel, but what I can do for myself. Any obstacle that is in my path provides me another opportunity to learn. I no longer implant the feeling of woe is me, but yes, it's mine. And I have the tools to overcome and be delivered from it. 
And because I look at myself differently, I treat myself differently and no one will ever run over me or insert their personal issues or deficiencies on me. Your issues is yours and not for me to handle. When you honor yourself in a space that allows you to see the beautiful change, you don't let anyone or anything knock you off the position you work so hard to obtain. I'm at this place where I speak life over me. Where are you and what would you change for you to see yourself in this beautiful light? I just need to know that it's still mine. And the way that you can't say my name don't see right. Love. Today is Tuesday. I haven't seen y'all since I was in a hotel. I wanted to go ahead and check in real quick before I ran and ran some errands. I'm not going to take y'all because I'm going to work out and I don't want my camera. I do not have a lock for my locker and I don't want my camera on me, boo. I am not. I refuse. So I probably just record just a little bit for y'all on my phone. Other than that, I'm gonna see y'all when I get back in the house. Girl, I gotta hurry up and get back in the house. It's almost like 10 o'clock, and I worked the shift last night, and I have not been to sleep. So baby girl, need to hurry up and go to sleep for these kids to get out of school. <laughs> so I'm gonna see y'all later. <laughs> Look at mess this morning, okay? We look a mess, but it's okay. <laughs> y'all. Yeah, I have to go and work out today. I gotta make it quick because I do have to be at work this morning. I had a meeting. It's just like an appraisal meeting, girl, or whatever. Yeah. But I have a meeting, so uh, at 10 30. But girl, yeah, I would have went straight to the gym. But girl, I made a mistake and left my headphones here now i am going to bring my camera to the gym with me today just to see if it's too busy if not i'm gonna try to prop my phone up as best i can for y'all um and that's how we gonna get this shit done you feel me i and as much as i do not feel like going to the gym i just don't feel like going to the gym girl I just don't feel like going to the gym. Uh, and I have a package to open with y'all today. I want to shout out to Eden West Skin Company for the no filter brightening soap with cogent acid and alpha arbutin. They sent me this product in the mail, girl. I met these young women off of Instagram. But I'll do a collective haul showing you all of the black brands that sent me stuff in the mail. And of course, I'm gonna be doing a motherfucking video for them. Of course, I'll do a video for them. But yeah, shout out to these women. Go ahead and go to the site. Y'all can't even really see it for real. Let me see. Go to the site, shop Eden West Skin Co. for all of your skincare needs. Now, baby, let's go and get to this workout. See y'all there. Hey, baby love. I literally just made it back in the house, girl. I'm trying to figure out what I'm about to eat real quick before I have to leave out. Because um, your grill is starving. Starving. I can't wait till my other, like, coming to meal, y'all. It's ridiculous. Like, look at this. Like, what is this? What? There we go. This is what I be talking about. Yeah, like, it's so good for you to back. 
Um, but I need to hurry up and eat because I need to get in the shower. It is 9.30. Um, and I don't feel like making up tea. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I could just make a big ass salad. Hold on, let me get the broom. Let me, let me get the broom, girl. All jokes aside, like, my stomach... And I know you cannot work one one area of your body, but that shit taking too fucking long. Some days the stomach the stomach be on flat. Other days, baby, the fupa be like. And I know I don't bust out fat kids, but dang, like literally. Okay, I'm working on giving myself grace. I'm about to eat leftovers. Okay. We had those. Don't y'all know how um, Tropical Smoothie be having those chicken chipotle flatbread sandwiches with the tomato and the lettuce. I'm about to make one of those. We did those homemade last night, though, and it was so good. I'm trying to get more footage of, like, me actually cooking meals for the family for y'all and not just me making food for myself. That's what I'm working on. Because a lot of people, hold on. A lot of people literally want to see, like, what do I make? Like, what do I um, meal prep for the kids? Like I said before, y'all, my kids eat a lot of the same stuff that I eat. I want to see, should I go live on the TikTok? <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, my God. Let me go on their website. How do you pronounce this, Sai? Come on. Sony? How do you pronounce that brand? Sai? I hope it's Sai Beauty. Because that shit pretty. Don't mind my hair. Don't come for me, bro. Because when I'm around this bitch looking fire as hell, don't say nothing. Ooh. What's it called? I y'all, I want to attempt for my damn it's dark. For my first of all, for my Galatines, I don't know how I want to do my hair, y'all. This is just a style to get me through until my hair comes. But low key, I'm thinking I don't even want to put weave in my hair. Like I've literally been enjoying like getting up and go. And I know this isn't the cutest style, but this is a style for me to put in my hair into my next style. It's like a uh, protective style, whatever, right? But girl, I'm thinking I want to because. I bought three pieces from Fashion Nova. So I bought two dresses, right? I bought a viral, the viral long sleeves. Girl, what I buy? One of the dresses was the AJ Maxi dress. Okay, so the dress I got is called the Athena Smooth Snatched Maxi dress. Baby, when I tell y'all the quality of this dress, it's the long sleeve one. Hold on. Come on, Sony. That long sleeve one there. The quality of this dress, baby. I'm talking about chef's kiss. A1. Top tier, boo. And I caught it on sale. The act, the AJ dress. This one right here. Hold on. This one right here. The quality of that dress. Oh, uh, listen. But, baby, the set I bought. I'm so disappointed. I low-key want to get my $21 off. Like, that, they could have sold that set. Hold on. This set right here. Y'all could have sold that set for like $10. That's just how bogus it is. And you know what? I love Fashion Nova. I love some of their stuff. Like you never know what could happen in the future. I'm not trying to really work with like fashion brands because I'm not a fashion girl. They like give me some good quality black pieces. Like that's it. <laughs> I'm not a fashion girly. Like, but the way that must, I just wasn't expecting. And I know that. All of, girl, I got my pot on. I know that all of Fashion Nova's clothes isn't going to be the best of quality. Like, you pay with, you get what you pay for, literally. But the way those two dresses feel versus that set, it's like, they could have gave me the, that set needs to be on sale for $10. That's just how poor quality it is. It's see-through. It's going to rip easy. I'm not even going to attempt to wear the leggings. They like stockings. I, I was disappointed in the set, but those dresses, like, 
this is what I was saying. Because, y'all, okay, so confession. I was trying to go like out, out, and bow with the different colors and do things that I usually don't do. And the more I tried and like thought about it, that's just not me. I like more of a simple, elegant piece. I like more of a simple, simple, good quality. What do you, what would you call it? She, it would it be chic? I, I just like a more conservative good quality look i'm not with like all the metallics and like the bright pinks and i tried i'm not even gonna lie to you i was about to make the fashion girlies proud but it just wasn't working for me i just was not into it i would rather spend money on good quality basic pieces even if that is like a dress and the thing about that AJ dress, y'all know the viral AJ dress is the Skims dupe and the long sleeve Athena snatch dress. That's a Skims dupe as well. Supposedly, girl, I, who fucking knows? Uh, um, what was I I was going to get like the different colors because they have all type of colors in that AJ dress. The AJ dress, they got the bright pink, they got the red. I could have went for the red. I don't know what it is. I'm loving red right now. Excuse the house, girl. It's been a long week, and it's only Thursday. Um, I could have went for, like, a bright red. They had, like, a lavender, and I know that lavender would have hit in the summertime, in the springtime, with, like, those, <laughs> with, like, those um Chanel sandals. Y'all know the Chanel sandals. Let me look it up. The one with the straps. What? With a bucket hat, baby? For the spring? That would have went hard. <laughs> yeah. And a cute little bag, like some everyday chill shit. I just was not, I'm like, how practical is this for me? How often? Because I rewear my clothes. I am not the type to wear my clothes one time, throw that shit. No. I rewear my clothes. So when I'm buying clothes, the only thing I have in mind is like, how often am I going to wear this color? Versus like a brown or like a nude or a black or a gray, even a white. How often am I going to wear like this big ass red dress or this long ass purple dress? Because I rewear my clothes. It's like I wouldn't wear it as often as I would wear like my basic earth tone pieces. So I didn't get it in that color. But mind you, if you go in here, um, I caught that dress that is a $25 dress. That, it was a good price at $25. I'm not going to hold you. But I caught it on sale for $15. Girl, look at the hair. <laughs> I caught it on sale for $15. So I don't, I'm not sure if they still have it on there for $15. Y'all go on Fashion Nova and sell them dresses out. Especially all my plus size girls, baby. I got it in a 2X, which is my usual size. No, a 3X is, I mean, with that dress, it's real stretchy. So you can size up or size down, and it's still going to give you like a snatch look because it's lined, and the material is really good. It's like a really stretchy dress. But I got it in the 2X, and it's not see-through. I feel like I could get away with wearing like one of my, not like one of my good quality bras. I don't need to wear like one of my push-up bras because the titties look good in it. Like, just go ahead and get the dress. Just get the dress, babe. I'm going to go ahead and see if it's still on sale for y'all. But right now, they just have one free one-day shipping on orders 100 and over. I don't think anything. Buy one, get one free. Use code V-Day. Shop now. That's the sale they had. But um, the sale they had when I bought the dresses, it was buy, buy one, get it like 50% off or something, girl. I think it was that. But... Let me go on here. AJ Maxi dress. Like, if you really... They have some good... These AJ Maxi dresses, dang. The, the, the spaghetti, the straps on it is adjustable. Pooh, it's just a good dress. It's just a good one. It's a good one. Like, they have this color. Let me see. They have that color. That is the color I really wanted because I feel like... Girl, that's my camera notification. <laughs> I feel like that color would have popped on my skin. And they had this color. I feel like this color is a really sexy color. But like I said, when I'm dripping, when I'm buying my clothes, I'm, I opt for more of a earth tone color. Because I know for a fact I'm going to rewear those colors. I want it in that dress. So let me go ahead and just buy it. I want it in... I would even do this color. 
because I would re I would re re wear that color, and I would re wear that color because the dress is just good, baby. But like I was saying, back to my hair, I am I'm low key thinking about a, um a bun, like my my natural my natural bun. That's what I'm low key thinking about. I'm not gonna hold y'all. If it's not like a half up, half down, and if I can't find any good quality kinky straight or yakky hair, it's gonna be my bun. Cause that's just what I'm feeling like. Like I'm feeling like natural hair, slick back in a bun, elegant type shit. Like that's what I'm feeling. I felt, ooh, with some cute baby earrings. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that's the bun. I'm thinking that's the bun.